Blessings, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. I just wanted to stop in and say that I've been receiving a lot of messages from the universe lately about our cosmic shift that we're currently going through. And I'm sure it's you've heard of it at some point or another, the age of Aquarius, right? I mean, songs, movies, books, like we've heard about this. But do we realize that it's currently going on right now and how exactly that's manifested through our different social interactions, our different socio-political, economic, all these aspects of our life are currently being affected by the age of Aquarius. So of course, I've done a little bit of research, looked into it, what is the age of Aquarius? So the age of Aquarius is when our we're currently in, we were in the Pisces and now we're going to Aquarius. So because we're moving in retrospect instead of forward, in the cosmos is actually moving retrospect. It's moving from Aquarius backwards, or it's moving backwards from Pisces to Aquarius. So we're moving in retrospect. Pisces is all about, if we're thinking about North Node and South Node, those sort of dualities, um, usually in astrology, when someone is looking at a birth chart, they're starting at where the North Node is and the South Node, and it's like this transition of life. So when we look at the North Node and South Node in our natal birth chart, we're seeing that the North Node is usually what we're striving to in life. And our South Node represents those developed qualities with already within us, our strong suits that we tend to fall back on. So our objective in life in terms of the natal birth chart and our North Node and South Node is to transition from what we're already comfortable and working with with the South Node into the North Node in the area that we're not as familiar with that's really going to help complement us and balance us. So when we think about moving from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius, then we can take a look at what is the natural south node and the opposite node of those particular zodiac signs. So when we're thinking about Aquarius, we're thinking we know that the opposite node of Aquarius is Leo. And then when we're thinking about Pisces, the opposite node of it is Virgo. So when we were living in the age of Pisces, we were starting to become very much more aware of what is going on. There is some start of shifting in the general enlightenment of people where they're starting to understand that there's something past this curtain or past this veil. So that the tendency for our spiritual community to have already accessed that with being in Pisces but our tendency at the time in the age of Pisces is for people to fall back on those Virgo tendencies. Virgo being much more materialistic, much more stable. So when people are falling back on those Virgo tendencies, they're becoming used to the familiar. They're used to working nine to fives. So they're used to providing money and the home environment necessary for survival. Now we come to the point of breaching that survival where we're starting to thrive in life. And those who have found that excellence, those who have mastered that balance had left and moved beyond just their usual comforts of Virgo and excelled and dared to dream of the occult and dared to explore spiritually. Those are people who have found balance even in the age of Pisces. Now that we're moving into the age of Aquarius, there's different social constructs, there's different um, experiences that we're experiencing in this reality. There's more limitations. It's not as expansive as Pisces, Pisces being 12th house energy, big boom, way out energy. Now we're starting to manifest more we're starting to manifest more and not just in the the um virgo material realm we're being called to action 
right now with what is going on in the world with our presence online, with our telecommunications, our need to accommodate right now with the pandemic, we are being called to action with the age of Aquarius. Aquarius is all about this transformation, right? The actual symbol of Aquarius is the water bearer being like a man carrying water, water representing femininity, the divine feminine, those emotions, those nurturing aspects of being a divine feminine. So when we think of Aquarius, we are moving into a time where we're starting to appreciate the divine feminine again. We aren't as patriarchal of societies. We are moving into divine feminine timing where women are starting to become more in power. And during this time, we're also starting to communicate more online. We're starting to have a social presence online. And this is our call to action if we are to ascend at this time, is to be able to share our voices online, being, being able to move from a state of observing creation to a state of becoming the creator. And so this is what I've been realizing lately as I've been thinking of the age of Aquarius, especially because very soon on December 21st, 2020 is officially when astrologers have noted that Jupiter and Saturn, two of the biggest masses, biggest planets in our solar system are going to be moving into the constellation of Aquarius. This is going to be huge. We're going to feel it in our spirits and our skies, our cosmos, is naturally going to show what's going on as well. If you take a look out in space on December 21st, you'll actually see this beautiful cross, beautiful natural cross forming in our sky where those planets and the sun are going to be meeting, where they're going to be in alignment. There'll be a beautiful cross up in the sky, being sure to look out for it, being sure to set your intentions right, being sure um, to master yourself at this time, being aware of the natural tendencies of being in the age of Aquarius and what it means to have balance with the opposite node, which is Sagittarius. So at this time, as you can see, if we're comparing what used to be to what we're moving into now, we used to have more stability in monetary things and material things as a way of Virgo nature. Now that we're moving into finding balance in the age of Aquarius with Sagittarius, we're going to be needing more of a fast moving energy. We're going to be needing more rapid connections in our mind and our heart centers with other people virtually at least. We're going to be needing that kind of spark, creative spark, inner connection, passion. These are the things that are going to help fuel the fire that are going to keep us in balance and moving forward in the age of Aquarius. And just to confirm, this message is channeled from Spirit, that Spirit fully backs up this message in preparation to give it to you. I'm going to bring out some of our Oracle cards and tie it in and see exactly what resonates with us, what further messages Spirit wants to let us know as we start to prepare as I mean, as we don't even start to prepare, it's already happening now. We're moving into the age of Aquarius. So I just want to channel from spirit to confirm that this message is correct and to fill in any missing areas that may be missing in this moment. And I did look up our, our, um, our, life path number if you, if someone were to be born on december 21st 2020 they would be a life path number eight so for that reason i am going to be selecting our eighth card which is the six of wands six of wands in the modern tarot our mod our modern witch tarot 
is demonstrating that you are confident, you have a reason to celebrate right now, you have a reason to be in the spotlight and being uplifted within your community. This is very much so correlated to the age of Aquarius and having an online presence and having a virtual connection with other people. You can and you should put yourself up on that pedestal so that you can be seen and heard. Let's see what else is coming up here with our modern witch tarot for our life path number eight, given that the life path of December 21st, 2020 is a life path eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming up here, four of wands upside down. Oh my gosh. So it's this strive again towards finding balance. And what do we have here when we look at the images on the card? We have this city view in the background and we have very natural wooded appearance in the foreground. So when I see this card, I automatically see that balance of dualities. I see a need for moving forward. I see a need to retreat from the urban and move back, taking back what is good of nature maybe stepping away from man-made creations to observe what is natural, and then to return back with those aspects, those knowledge, those insights gained from nature, to return back to our man-made technology and to share it for the good of others. Over overcoming those struggles here with it having been upside down, we can overcome those struggles to find balance in the age of Aquarius. I'm going to call upon our arcana of astrology. Just because this topic is so heavily correlated to astrology, I thought, why not? We got to have at least a couple cards in here from the arcana of astrology to get some clarification here. Shuffling and spirit, please help us understand this age of Aquarius and what we need to know in order to prepare for this time, in order to keep thriving at this time, strive, thr surviving beyond that to thriving. So our first card here is the first quarter moon. And what we knew about moon cycles is that at the first quarter moon is when it's really starting to manifest. It hasn't fully manifested yet. It's, a, it's like at a halfway point. So we can take with this card that we're again finding balance between dualities. Perhaps we've already started some projects right now with the age of Aquarius and perhaps right now we're really in the zone. We're literally in the flow state of creating, of manifesting here during the age of Aquarius. So again, getting those symbolism of finding balance, the dark and the light, being completely whole, finding that whole by finding the balance between the light and the dark. I'm going to call upon spirit again for one more from our astrology, arcana of astrology, because I really love these cards and I just want to see what messages are coming in. All right, for life path eight of our 1221, we have our eighth card being the sixth house. And the sixth house tends to demonstrate our what nurtures us. And so what I'm getting from the sixth house is the sixth house tends to be about our habits and our routines. So recognizing that there is a cos cosmos shift going on, we want to think about what we're doing here. We're a parallel of the cosmos down here on earth. So what do we want to do with this shift? What should we be shifting within our schedules, within our routines? What and how should our lifestyles be changing with this cosmos shift? And this card right here is demonstrating 
that it's up to you to look over your life schedule look over your daily routine ask you ask yourself what is serving you and what is not what is something that you could improve upon that you've desired to improve upon that you naturally want to know inside spirit is saying that you can learn those things without any kind of given reason tied to this material world you can pursue what you really like to pursue you can study what you really want to study you are being called right now to ask yourself what is calling you what should be a part of your daily routine that is currently not or that currently could have more of a prevalence or a part of your daily routine what practices what trades do you need to know that would be beneficial right now spirit is saying you can call upon your guides and your ancestors to understand more about what path it is that you should be taking and about what habits and routines are going to serve you to meet those higher goals just as a confirmation there about what i was just receiving i'm going to pull out the work your light deck just because this one tends to correlate with our stars with our other life bearing planets way out in the cosmos so i really like drawing on this deck for more um, esoteric advice and insight so let's get an idea here from this deck what it is that we need to know about the age of Aquarius, our life path eight, the age of Aquarius, as far as Jupiter and Saturn moving into the age of Aquarius are related. We have six, seven, and eight, our eighth card. Oh my gosh, the crumbling. Oh my gosh, of course this would happen okay so this is our confirmation from spirit that what you're experiencing on the grand scale of society as well as however it's affecting you personally um there's this great crumbling going on as we're transitioning from placement to placement i mean right now there's obviously some kind of illness that humanity was having in order for us to have a virus upon us so however this resonates with you my heart goes out to you if you have been personally impacted or loved ones close to you have my heart goes out to you i am only bringing this card up because spirit has brought it forward and wants you to know that through that darkness that we've experienced at this time there's new light coming from it there is a cosmic shift going on and during this cosmic shift some of our friends and family were not able to make this shift and some have chosen different life paths and during this time of this crumbling is this time for all of us souls here on earth to find greater reason for living because we as a species, as humans, have been really degrading of the earth. We've done some awful things to the earth. And so now is this time where there's crumbling, this virus is upon us, and we are being called to transform as a society, as a race, as a human race, not a particular race, but as the human race. So we are being called to shift right now and that's what the age of aquarius is about it's about being able to connect with each other on a soul level rather than a material level it's about finding that passion and what really fuels your fire so going through this change we're losing some things in the process and it hurts but we're going to become stronger on the other side as we evolve. Transformations are a time for us to evolve, to shed the skin that no longer serves and to build and rebuild, growing anew. So I hope that that resonated with you. Um, I don't wanna leave this reading on a, on a sad note, to be honest. So I'm gonna call upon one more card from our Work Your Light 
deck to get to understand exactly the age of Aquarius. Perhaps now that we've recognized what it is we're losing, perhaps now we can see what it is that we're going to be gaining in the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius, as far as Jupiter and Saturn go, is a life path number eight. So let us see what resonates, what comes up. And I have our eighth card, the initiation, and it's upside down. Okay, so this is a clear indicator that right now our mission as a society going through the age of Aquarius is we're going through an initiation. Some of us are having a difficult time with it. Some of us are not quite there yet. And so this card is upside down because it's a blockage for us to overcome as humanity. So when we turn it right side up, we're going to be in balance. And that is our goal as we shift into the age of Aquarius and we find balance with our opposite node, our Sagittarius node, balancing out these these dualities and what was i saying again lots of things have come up to indicate those those dualities of urban and nature of light and dark we're finding our balance and once we find that balance we're going to be able to turn this card right back up we're going to be fully initiated and ready to transcend ready to move from the state of observing of being a part of creation into the state of becoming a creator yourself of your own reality of your own environment being a creator starting within that is our call to action this age of aquarius finding balance being able to connect with each other on a soul level i hope that this reading really resonated with you and i look forward to seeing you again for future readings if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe down below and i hope to see you again soon bye